Hi, welcome to the SQL tutorial video covering working with multiple databases. We're going to look at how we can reference other databases, other tables and databases um, in the same SQL window. We're going to look at um, fully qualified table names, schemas. We're going to look at quite a few bits and pieces here. So um, I'll close this window here. On the left hand side, I've got a list of all of my databases um, and if I click on this one here and I click new query it will open me up a new window um, and by default it will be connected to the database where um, that was highlighted when I pressed new query. If I open this up and I actually want a different database well that's fine I can click on this drop down here and I can go to another database. Um, it might be <clears throat> that you want to reference data in two different databases. So I've got tables in my MTGDB database. Um, But also I've got tables in my training database and it might be that I want to reference, I want to show data here, but I also want to show data in a table in my training database. Um, and I can do that. So if I do, uh, select star from, if I start typing um, the word of the database that, that I'm interested in, it will show me that database. There it is. This is um, permission specific. So if I, if, I don't have permission to look at this database. I won't see it um, necessarily, but there is that database. I can click on that database. Um, then I press dot. Now, this next uh, section that it's looking for is a schema. You can see actually uh, here it says schema. I'll explain what a schema is in a second, but I'm going to find the schema DBO. And then if I press dot, it'll give me a list of tables. <clears throat> so if I do that, if I run that, um, at the top left it still says MTGDB database, which is looking at here, but this second bit here um, is actually getting data from my training database. So let's let's talk about this um, this name here. So training is the database. This middle bit here is called the schema, and a schema. A lot, you can create a schema, you can call it whatever you like, and you can allocate objects to the schema. And by objects, I mean generally tables, but also um, procedures, um, functions, you can allocate to a schema. And, and one of the purposes, one of the uses of a schema is to uh, create collections. Now, if, as an example, we look at AdventureWorks. They've got lots of schemas. Generally, I don't have a lot of schemas in my databases, but AdventureWorks does. So if we look at the AdventureWorks, this is the Microsoft's um, training database. If we open up <coughs> with the little plus here, if we open up um, the AdventureWorks database, we get this tree view here. Uh, one of them says tables. So let's click on a plus here. And we've got lots and lots and lots of tables. So if I just move this across here, each of these tables uh, has a prefix, something dot something, and before the dot is the schema, and after the dot is the table name. So person is the schema, address is the table. And in this case, these um, schemas, human resources, person, production, they allow um, tables to sit in, in a collection. So generally speaking, all of these tables here, address, business entity, password, contact type, all belong to the person schema. So uh, generally to do with, with the set of the people. And then you've got production schemas and you've got purchasing, and you've got sales schemas. So it's just a way of having tables um, that have a, a similar theme that can be, can be um, kind of stored together in a collection. So if I wanted to reference this customer table here in the sales schema um, I can do that by um, 
So I choose the correct schema, which in this case is sales. And then when I put the schema in, it only shows me a list of the tables that belong to that schema. So I don't see production model and I don't see product description. I just see the tables that belong to that schema. And there's my customer table I'm interested in. And it doesn't matter that I'm pointing to a different database, I can run that and it goes to my AdventureWorks database and returns this data. Um, as a user, in, in SQL you get created as a user to allow you to look at data. Um, and the default schema for um, a user in SQL is DBO. So if I do a select star from and I look at my full table um, table here, if I fully qualify it, I will put my database name, I'll put DBO, and there's my table. So um, because my user's default schema is DBO, I wouldn't I don't need to do that. I can just do a reference straight to that full table. However, if I in here wanted to do a select staff from customer, this will fail. Um, even if I'm pointing to the right database, this will fail because it doesn't because my default um, user schema is DBO. It doesn't know what customer is until I put the proper um, scheme prefix. And then it says, Ah, yeah, you mean customer in sales. I get you now. So scheme is quite an important thing. So there is another thing that I wanted to demonstrate in this video as well, talking of multiple databases. Um, and that is, instead of having the fully qualified name here, you can use um, you can use the keyword use. So let's look, at, let us begin here. Uh, if I just comment that out. Um, no, if I put that back in, in fact. So right now I'm pointing to my AdventureWorks database. So this full table here, it doesn't know what that is, but it does know what sales.customer is because sales.customer is in this database. Full table is in a different database. I could, as I've demonstrated, do the fully um, qualified name and it will accept that and that little red underline will disappear. However, if I don't want to do that, um, if I try and run that, it'll say, I don't know what full table is. But what you can do is you can say use. And now it says, ah, you want to use that database. I know what that table is. But now it doesn't know what that table is because it doesn't belong to this database. But here you can say. And now you can run both of those scripts. One of them returns full table from this database. One of them returns the customer table from this database using the use keyword that's the end of this video i hope you find it helpful